Dead and Coach for Smart, Strong, Successful Women, and your personal trainer for love. Today we're talking about why do men play games? Newsflash, they don't. Serious. All right, like mic drop. Uh, it's really popular to talk about men and how they play games. Um, and uh, when you give dating advice, again, you're not gonna you're not going to be able to hit everybody. There's always, you always have to allow for exceptions. There is some psychopath out there who play, plays games. There's some guy who is a pickup artist who reads manuals on how to manipulate women and keep them off balance. That's really a minority of men in the grand scheme of things, let's admit. Guys who are actively thinking, hmm, what can I do to mess with her? Right, how can I keep her off balance? How can I maintain power in this relationship? Consciously thinking that is a real, real minority of guys to the point where I don't know anybody like that. You might say, I know tons of guys like that. I'm telling you that here in, in normal reality land, for the most part, guys are not playing games at all. You may think they are, right? but that implies a certain level of intention that actually guys don't have. When you think a guy's playing games, you know what he's doing? He's just pursuing what he wants. Problem is, he doesn't always know what he wants. Right? That's, that's really all it comes down to. So a guy gets your number at a party, and he, he says, I'll text you, and he texts you, and then he disappears for a few days. Right? And then he comes back, he says, we should get together next weekend. Right? And then you don't hear from him, the weekend comes and goes. And then he says, oh my God, I'm so sorry. We should really get together, right? And then you do get together and then you hook up, right? And he texts you the next day, oh my God, that was totally fun. Can't wait to see you again. And then there's a week of silence. Just a made up story that might as well be true. Is this guy playing games? I don't think so at all. This is not about playing games. He's not trying to pull one over on you or fool you or manipulate you. He's literally met a girl that he kind of barely knows and kind of barely likes and he's kind of sort of attracted to and he might have five women in the same exact position. Maybe he's gone out with someone else three times and he likes her better or maybe he's gone further with her. Maybe he's trying to extricate himself from another relationship. Maybe he's dating online. He has other options. You don't know any of it. All you know is that he's running hot and cold and your interpretation of hot and cold is he's playing games. So I really want to disabuse you of that notion that guys are in general game players and that the way to do well with men is to play games in return. Oh, I, when he texts me, I'm gonna not text him back for a few hours. That'll teach him. I don't wanna come across as, as too needy. That's a losing game. Once you start playing games, you've automatically lost. The way to be in a relationship is to be present. If he calls, you call him back. If he texts, you text him back. Right? This is not, it's, it's not waiting and trying to play guessing games about what you're going to do that's going to elicit a certain response from him. It's being authentic and real and vulnerable and present and enthusiastic. Right? And if it turns out that your guy, who seems like a great guy, doesn't step up his efforts, doesn't act consistently, doesn't make plans to see you, don't think of it in terms of him being a player who is playing games with you. Just think of him as a, another indifferent guy, another intern who's not working hard enough to get the job at your company, right? And you just cut them loose with no hard feelings instead of painting men with that same broad brush that men are game players. They're not game players because they're not giving you what they want. They generally are guys who don't know what they want, have a ton of options, are really confused, are exploring a bunch of them at the same time, and you happen to be caught in the crossfire. It is not in any way some malicious intention to try to hurt you on behalf of all men. Please stop thinking of us as game players and think of us as normal people who are just as confused as you about what we really want out of life and love and dating. My name is Evan Mark Katz. I'm your dating coach. I thank you so much for your time. If you like this video, tell a friend, share it on Facebook, subscribe to my channel, give me your name and email address at evanmarkkatz.com and I will send you free dating and relationship advice that helps you understand men and find love. Thanks a lot.